folks. My name is Miklo Kupas. This is Yaru Country. To me, Yaru Country, um, this country is so special to us, uh, especially the Yaru people. Um, our song, our dance come from this country. Our stories come from this country about our ancestors, how they travel through this country. All our animals in this country, um, how they live, where they live. Um, they've been here for a long time. Um, and it means so special to have them around us for the future, for our generations. Um, the stories uh, that need to be told to our next generation, it's important. Our culture, it teaches about survival. The state government gave this company, Buru Energy, the rights or approvals to come in and frack in our country. And we understand that all our water from here is running west into Broome. We depend on our Roebuck Bay for our hunting and our gathering. And we know that long term it's going to have a hindrance. Now when the government said that they gave these people approval um, because it's little impact, now if we'd done a graph of water impact, it starts from zero, then goes to little, then medium, then high, then extreme, then catastrophic. When do we stop? Now if, the, if it's our water, it should be zero tolerance. We shouldn't have no one mucking around with our fresh water. And what the government is saying today is that we can't say no to this fracking because they gave them their approval. We understand that this company, Buru Energy, is exempt from uh, air pollution, from clearances and from water use. Just down the road here, they've done the biggest seismic lines in Australia. It is w within an area of 1,200 hectares of land and they've carved up the land every 200 metres with a line this way and this way. All right. Now if we join these lines together it goes from Wyndham to Perth. That's six, uh, 3,600 kilometres of this line. What was so important to that area is that there was a large population of bilbies in that area. Um, what I think should happen in the future is that we need to plan how to use this land in the future. And one of the plans that I would suggest is that we need to put a bilby sanctuary out here to protect this environment and let this little animal help us to establish the environment to back where it was in the beginning.